Alright guys, so go to the item shop and make sure to go into here and click support a creator and make sure to have this exact code in so you guys will support me and give me some money and that's very helpful. So uh, yeah, put that code in. Alright guys, what's up? My name is Adam. Welcome back to the video. And today guys, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make uh, Fortnite models or Fortnite renders uh, an SFM uh, or whatever you guys call it. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to make those today. So first of all, you have to obviously have it like on Steam. If you don't have it, just search up Source Filmmaker. Uh, and you'll find it somewhere yeah here but once you download it uh let's be in your library software and here it is right here so uh so first thing you have to do so first thing you have to do is over here once you download it click browse the workshop and um it looks like this just search up fortnite and uh and you can see here's some of the renders right here so we'll just do for this tutorial who should we do uh, we'll do velocity for this one. Let's just add that and once you click the add button and go into source filmmaker Just uh, if you're in here just click create and you'll see this popped up uh, Fortnite velocity just click ok so it adds it to it. So once you guys have done that I'm just gonna load up my uh, White rooms because why not if you guys don't know how to get white rooms search it up on YouTube. It's a little bit uh, hard to explain So I'm just gonna load this up here Great, okay, so you can see we have the white room. I'll probably link a, uh, I'll link a tutorial in the video description on um, how to get a white room. But once you guys get the white room, or just you guys can use the default one if you want. Just right click here, uh, set for new model, and then find the model down here like where, that you downloaded. So I'm just going to find that, and why is it being slow? Okay, there. So you guys can see I have lots of different models. Oh, here we go. Velocity. Okay, just open that up. And you can see right here we have the render of velocity. So, uh, basically, let's. what should we do? Um, oh, yeah. Click uh, one of these buttons. If you want to move something, you can move it with that. But I usually do the rotation tool and make sure that this thing's blue. So, uh, yeah, now you're here. You can just... By the way, guys, you have to move with WASD to move up and stuff. So, um, yeah, and then zoom in and out is just scroll wheel. So we're just going to hold down control and then all these things pop up. It looks a little bit confusing at first, but it's not that bad. So what we're going to do is just uh, move this and you can see we have this like spiral thing. This is just like all the axes you can do to move your stuff. So if I move it like this, it moves like that. And yeah, so we're just going to do that and make it look how I want. So I think I'm going to make the character hold a pickaxe or something. So I'm going to make it like... Huh, what should I do? So I'm just gonna go like this and then rotate it like that. Yeah, and then we're gonna hold control down again and then do this arm. So do 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 uh Okay and then just move this up. So now you can see it's like this and now we're gonna move this over to see the hand. I'm just gonna get this hand and like move it up a little bit and then rotate it now guys since we got this we're gonna uh move the actual hand itself so you can see it just moves like that so we're gonna move it so it's like a little bit rotated like mm, like that and i have to do that with the other hand too so let's see boom and then like that so i'm gonna have like the character holding a pickaxe but you can just basically move it like however you want um you can legit do any joint just like if you want to move the fingers just like grab the fingers the elbows it's legit not that hard but i'm just gonna add the pickaxe so just click here and then new model again i'm just gonna find a pickaxe that i like so right here i'll just use this one i also download this one by searching up fortnite it's just the pick squeak so yeah here we go we're just gonna get this and rotate it so yeah that's like so now it's just the hard part which is just like finding where it should be rotated to uh that looks good and now we're gonna rotate it to that okay and then up okay now that's like that we're gonna move it up by going over here and then just bringing it up like that um how high should i do it maybe like that high and now we're gonna look over here because it's not even in his hand yet or her hand sorry it's a girl uh like that is that good yep that's good now you guys can see that the pole is like 
Ah. Oh. Okay, I need to rub the heat this more. It still looks a little bit crap. So, like, that. Yeah. That's it. Now we're gonna have to move the hand. Uh, let's see. We're gonna have to grab the hand again. And rotate it closer to the pickaxe itself. And it's not wanting to rotate. That's epic. Alright, there we go. And now we have to do it with the other hand, too. Uh, just by doing that. And then rotating it closer like that. So that's that, that's great. And now we're gonna uh, make the character look down at it. So we have to zoom up on like the eyes itself, right eye. And now you can see like you can move like the eye back and forth. So we're just gonna move this down so it's actually like looking at it. So we'll do that with the same one on this side too. So like that. So. That looks ish good. Like <laughs> that that's usually what I would do for a thumbnail. Maybe um let's see. What else could I make look sick? I don't know what else I would add. Maybe like a gun in the back? That look kinda clean too. So we're just gonna go over here again. New model once again and find like a gun. If I have a gun. I have like tons of models, guys, you guys can see. Uh yep, there's a pump. A scar. I'll just use a scar. So, okay, where is... And now that looks very awkward. <laughs> okay, that... I do not like this. We have to move this out somewhere. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we moved it out of the crotch area. Um, now we're just gonna rotate this. Like, that, so it's gonna... I'm gonna put it behind her. Like, like the back part. So it looks like it's like on her back, which would look kind of cool. So we're gonna, there we go, and then just bring this up. And why did I do that? Bring this up to where his her shoulder is, like that. And like that. And now we're just gonna rotate it. So it looks like that. That she has a scar on her back. So that looks kind of sick. Um, and that's basically what I would do for a, a SFM model. Maybe just, maybe just, maybe since this like little thing, I have to rotate this just a tad, tad more. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, like that, and then move it over. So that's that's that looks pretty that looks pretty okay for just like a quick little tutorial ish. I don't know if it's quick or not, but uh, yeah. So now we're gonna. So now we have to add a new light just to make it look sick. So there's the light right there. Uh, there's one light. So now you guys see that the light's right there, and I don't want it to be like that. So one second. So yeah, just like move like the horizontal and vertical lines. So now you can see it's covering her, and that looks kind of shit. So we have to go over here to intensity and, like, lower a little bit. So, like, that. Maybe. Maybe a little bit less. Like that. That looks pretty sick. So now we have to go over here to camera one and actually move it. Like, camera one's the actual camera. Like, the word camera doesn't count when you try rendering it. So you have to actually make it camera one. And, like, find the spot you're gonna, uh, like, f use to render it as. So, maybe, like, right here. Like, that's, like, a good camera angle, I think. So, we're just going to go over here, file, uh, and then go export. And then make sure that you put it as poster. Don't do any of these other ones, like, move your image. Just do poster. And uh, you can save it if you want. So, I'm going to put it to the desktop. So, desktop. And just save it as a name, like, render. Save it. And now make sure this is on JPEG or PNG. I'm gonna do PNG. And make sure the settings are like this. And then just click export. And now you guys can see it's rendering. Now guys, you guys can see I think it's done. So you have to check it. And don't ignore all these annoying files. Um, we're just gonna open that. And that looks like that's the render, guys. Uh, that's really it for that. 
now I'll show you guys what to do on Photoshop. So yeah. So now since we're in Photoshop, we're gonna open it up. Just click open and then find the render. So I'm just gonna go like that. And now you can see we are in here. So uh, the white looks kind of boring. So we're gonna have to go onto the internet. Uh, this tab, and we're gonna search up. Uh, we're gonna search up like Fortnite map or something to search up Fortnite, I guess for now. Uh, and let's find the background that we can use. So I'm just gonna do this one right here. Uh, so yeah, just copy it and then go into Photoshop and then paste it underneath the layer that we just made, like the render. So like that. Uh, yeah. And now. How do we get the white background out? Uh, if you guys try to go like this, it just won't work. So since we can't do that, we have to go to Pen Tool, or uh, you can use uh, where is it? Freeform, but I use Pen Tool because it's more precise. And now we just have to uh, like just do little points all around the character. So I'm just gonna speed this up, guys. Okay, guys, there we go. Um, that took way too long. Like that took so long, guys. You guys don't even know. That took like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, and hopefully that won't be that long for you guys. But once you guys are done that, just click, like, right click on it, make selection, OK, and then you right click, layer via copy, and then remove that. And there you guys go. There's your thumbnail with the SFM. And um, that's basically how you do it, guys. I guess, obviously, you guys can see there's like right around the edge. I didn't really try super hard, but that's what it would look like. Just like you guys erase the edges if there's white, obviously. But that's really it, guys, for uh, this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go down below, hit that subscribe button, and also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.